This year's male recipient of the Eagle of the Year Award is truly a first-class athlete, gentleman, and scholar. In athletics competition, he was the best at his position. In 2007, he became the first freshman in 10 seasons to start on the offensive line. Four years later, he holds the Boston College football record for career starts with 54. This past year, he was an All-ACC First Team honoree and Associated Press All-American third team. In the classroom, he's one of the most successful students in Boston College's football history. Like his female counterpart, Carolyn Swords, he was named the class's outstanding scholar-athlete each of the past three seasons, a biochemistry major who hopes someday to conduct cancer research. And if I don't know if there's a way to find it, but if there is, you'll find it. He was also received the top academic award in college football when he was named the National Football Foundation Scholar Athlete. Just last week, he became the ninth BC offensive lineman in the past 10 years to be drafted by the National Football League when he was selected in the first round with the 22nd pick by the Indianapolis Colts. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2011 Male Eagle of the Year from, foot, from the football team of a native of Hawthorne Woods, Illinois, Anthony Costanzo. I'd like to thank, uh, start by thanking the Hasselfuss family for this award. Um, I'd also like to congratulate Carolyn on her well-deserved award and her being drafted to my hometown, Chicago Sky. <laughs> Congratulations, Carolyn. Um, as for my receiving this award, um, all my life I have prided myself on taking advantage of every opportunity that presents itself. I believe that the support and help one gets from others is presented as opportunities, but it's still the responsibility of that individual to take advantage. My first opportunity was granted to me by my mother when she birthed me, <laughs> and by my father when he cut my umbilical cord. I apologize for that graphic image. They gave me the opportunity to live, one that I am still trying to take advantage of, and one that encompasses all else that is presented to me. From that moment in 1988 until January of 2007, I capitalized on many opportunities, most of which were forged by my siblings, Bill, Kristen, and Carissa, and capitalized so well that I found myself attending Boston College on a full football scholarship. Mind you, this never would have been possible if not for the generous donation by Dr. and Mrs. Healy, who sponsored my scholarship. So I came in as a freshman in 2007, living on Upper, ready to capitalize on every opportunity I was given. Little did I know what kind of opportunities lie ahead of me at this wonderful place. My very first opportunity as a lanky 245-pound freshman was to live in Gonzaga, a mere minute's walk from McElroy Commons, an opportunity I took full advantage of. I spent roughly 90% of my time when not in classes or at football forging memories in McElroy Commons and stuffing my face. That dedication to food, along with the tutelage of Coach Lascalzo in the weight room, had my body primed and ready to compete for a starting job as a true freshman the following season. I took full advantage and did not look back. In that first year, I got to protect Matt Ryan and was acclimated to life in the ACC real quickly with a bit of a christening at Virginia Tech. Each play was an opportunity to learn, and that day I think Chris Ellis, Virginia Tech's defensive end, was the best teacher I could have had. I learned a ton that first year and was eager to keep learning and getting better. Meanwhile, in that freshman year, I also realized Boston College presented me with another opportunity, the opportunity to get a great education. 
and I was not ready to let that one slip from my grasp. I decided to tackle my academic passion of science and math, pursuing a degree in biochemistry with a math minor. I'm extremely happy I chose to stick with what I love, because the material I was studying, along with my wonderful professors, made going to class each day enjoyable and challenging. As my sophomore and junior years rolled on, I realized Boston College offered yet another opportunity, the opportunity to make new friends that will, as I see it, last forever. Now, I'm not going to name names, because when I did that at the football banquet, I had guys coming up to me afterwards giving me flack for not mentioning them, Mark Spinney. So, I'm just going to include the entire football team in this one. I took advantage of that opportunity and forged some unbelievable relationships that I wouldn't trade for the world. As I was meeting new friends, I also had the opportunity to let the world meet me. Chris Cameron, Matt Lynch, and the whole media department here has helped me get my face out into the public and let the public into my world. The chance to do this really made the whole college experience that much more enjoyable. I have never really got sick of the media and still jump at every opportunity. You could call me a bit of a ham. Also, as the years went on, I realized how important my coaches were. I had an opportunity to learn football from guys who have literally been around the game for longer than I've been alive. All of the coaches presented me with some bit of knowledge that I could use both on the football field and in life. For example, on the field, Coach Spaz showed me how to lead. In life, Coach Gallup showed me how to remind myself hundreds of times about appointments so that I'd be sure not to miss them. Coach Devine taught me so much about playing offensive line and about being a man and really believing in my own abilities. I took what these, as well as all the coaches, had to say and absorbed every bit of it. The opportunity to learn is never one that can be passed up. Now as I headed into and have now completed my senior year, I get to reflect on my college years. I get to ask myself, did I really relish every opportunity that came my way? Did I waste any of my days while at Boston College? Well, did I get everything out of the education that was offered? I have my biochemistry degree with my math minor in four years, and thanks to Coach Flip, am now known nationwide as a Rhodes Scholar nominee. Did I capitalize on the opportunity to meet new people? I forged some of the closest bonds I could have forged with my teammates and have made friendships, friendships that last me a lifetime. Did I suck all the knowledge I could from my coaches? I greatly improved from that freshman year to my senior year and ended up as the one giving lessons to opposing players, not receiving them. Also, after coaching me for two years, I think Coach Devine is exhausted, so mission accomplished. Did I get everything out of Boston College dining halls? I gained 60 pounds from my freshman year to my senior year, so I think I got that one covered. <laughs> Finally, did I get my, everything out of my opportunity to play football at Boston College? Well, I was just drafted in the first round of last week's NFL draft, and we'll be playing for the Colts next season. Yes, that means I'll be playing against your beloved Patriots. And I know I can count on each and every one of you to be wearing the blue and white and cheering for the Colts on December 4th when, when we come to town. So what's the message behind all this? The message is thank you. Thank you to everyone I have mentioned in this speech and to everyone else who has opened opportunity, opportunities for me along the way. Thank you, Boston College, for giving me the opportunity to take everything you've had to give and for opening new opportunities for the future. Finally, thank you everyone here for this award. I am beyond proud to receive this because this is tangible proof that I have indeed taken advantage of everything Boston College has presented me. And I could be a happy man looking back at my college years knowing I truly have zero regrets. Thank you.